What's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day. Back at it again with another tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at how to cheese UV mapping. So this is not a UV mapped object, but if you don't know how to use Blender or any kind of 3D modeling software and you still want to make something like this, like a, a die or a paradise or, you know, just whatever you can imagine with uh, multiple images on one object, let me show you how to do that. So obviously we made a die, so that's what we're going to use for our example. Let's get into it. Okay, so really all we have here is a cube with six panels, and we assign a material to each. That's really all you need to know, but we're going to go ahead and remake it. So we're just going to copy the original cube, and delete all the child objects. So you can see here's what we started with. And these are just panels. So I'm gonna copy one panel. I'm just gonna remove this material. For now. And I just continue to copy this. Oop, we are gonna this in the right object though. There we go. So rename this one and rename this two. Actually, we're not gonna do that yet. You'll see why. Okay, so this just simply goes down. Let's actually go ahead and move this cube up a little bit so we can get underneath of it. Okay, so now we have our panels ready. So make sure you have your textures. And I have these right here. I'll post the description or the link in the description where I got these. So you can use them if you would like. And then you make a material for each one and start applying. Now, in order to complete, uh, the textures are now done. If that's where you'd like to stop, perfectly acceptable stop there. But to make it throwable, let's do that too. Well, we already kind of have it. You can see that. We changed the layer to pickup. It is by default none. And we change it to pickup. 
and we want to hit no the subject only and then we add the VRC script pickup just type in VRC it should be the fourth one down make sure it's pickupable and I changed the boost scale to 2 So all you have to do guys, easy as that. Now there are better ways to do this, like UV mapping and things like that. And if you wanna make a complicated object, like a 20 sided dice or something like that, you're better off probably in a modeling software or using some kind of addition to the Unity base. But for simple things like this, I mean, you can do this in just a couple of minutes. It doesn't take very long. If you guys are able to follow this and recreate it, leave a like and subscribe. And if you had any issues, let me know in the comments below. See what I can do. As always, guys, have a great day and see you next time.